Hi guys, how are you tonight? Honey, it's really bright behind me. Have you noticed it's like, maybe it's just on Facebook it looks really bright. I don't know, I can't get in the light over here. Guys, we're gonna paint today. When I say paint, we're not painting on furniture, we're gonna paint on canvas. The trick is here. We're back to using our fingers today. Are you here for it, anybody? Hello, Beauty Luscious. Um, yeah, we finished up this wardrobe yesterday and Matt put a pull on it. And I just kind of want to show you all that we found this gorgeous, clear, gosh, that bar is almost seven inches, I think, probably eight inches now that I look at it. Um, so it's a large crystal ball, no, bar. excuse me, bar. But the key is, hi, Michelle, honey, I see your hearts. The key is right here that it looks really good with the stone washed. So if you guys missed it, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you could go over on YouTube and click the playlist called Stone Washed. And this is the finished piece. This is the finished, all about the way that it looks. It's all on there. And I painted the entire thing for you guys on Facebook and YouTube. So um, Stone Washed it is. It's sold. I had to get it ready. And so we can get it out the door. The inside has cubbies on the right side, and it's a good, heavy, solid piece. Uh, it's really beautiful. I did, thanks, Patty. I did find it at Hobby Lobby. Uh, got really lucky on that, and I think, I think that it doesn't necessarily compete with it, but it has a really has a really nice touch to it. So that one is done completely, and I thought, gosh, we just have a few more days. And if you missed the challenge, my husband has challenged me to paint with him on the last day of my 100 lives in 100 days. So um, Saturday night, around 8.30, he and I will be popping on here. He's challenged me, but he said the key, key is he's only going to let me paint with black and white. Right? Black and white. That's so boring. So I'm going to practice. No, not really. But I did put black on my canvas and I'm gonna finger paint. So uh, I did this last week. And I think what kind of happens is I do a piece of furniture and then I need a little bit of a break. And I do a piece of furniture and I need a little bit of a break. So we're going to, that is really bright for me over on the Facebooks. Guys, I'm so disappointed. I was supposed to do Talk To Me Tuesday and I tried to get on there again and Zoom and Facebook are not communicating. Shades of gray. Well, there are a lot of shades of gray, so I will be able to mix gray. No, 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 no. Yes, no, no. there is. Black and white. Period. Honey, I blend. Case closed. No, I blend. If you'd give me two colors, whoa, black whoa, and whoa, white. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This was I my blend. challenge to you. You don't get to make the rules. I invited you on. Missing. I invited you on. You know, probably better if we actually turn that to the wall. Turn what? Your this? canvas, yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm being a little technical about the lighting right now. You kind of are right now. No, You'll have to no, move this. you're not. You need to square it up at the wall. I can move this. My word. There we go. Sorry, guys. My word. Sorry. Yeah. So anyway, that's going to be Saturday night. <laughs> That'll be fun. It will be fun. But tonight we're going to finger paint. I did this last week. Turned out really well i had a lot of fun and i feel like in between furniture it's really nice to get a nice break so um that's what we're gonna do tonight anybody have any suggestions gotta let her use a touch of blue iris matt maybe i'll let her sign her name in blue iris hmm. maybe gosh how in the world will i just stick to you know what with my finger being wonky you may have to open all this i'll try it with my left hand Ooh, I don't you know. You got a wonky finger? I got a wonky finger. This wonky finger. Hey there, muscles. You like that? There, no, well, it took you a minute. I was concerned. Been working out. <laughs> so we're going to start with some water lily. Let's do this. All right, I've got my spray bottle, my water girl. How is everybody tonight? Wonky is no good. It's not good, Michelle. It's not good. Um, but we're going to do it anyway. Sorry if I've missed your questions. He had lighting control. 
lighting control. So I will report to all of you that watched Friday Night Live. All three of us have put our paintings in the mail and UPS is in charge or FedEx or whomever is in charge of getting them to us. But it's out of our hands at this point. So no, you didn't Karen Brown. So at this point, it's not our responsibility. We did get our things in the mail when we were supposed to. So I have shipped mine to Anissa. Anissa has shipped hers to Quita and Quita has shipped hers to me. So that Friday night should be a lot of fun. Mama H, math turned out pretty well. I remember now why I'm not a mathematician. Or oh, last night, or, yeah. Or an engineer. Well, or anything we that had to do with math. That's what I remember now. I, I remember now why I'm not a mathematician. Well, we, we don't actually know how the math turned out just yet. He was gone last night because he was helping with some geometry, pre-AP geometry. It was kind of intense. So um, I told him to go in there and see what he could come up with. I'm working on a little background. So this is just black and I'm working with water lily right now. Uh, Joe Brindley says, LOL, I'm listening to you guys in mega surround sound. That is LOL. terrible. You must on my big TV, but I also on my phone because I can't. It doesn't let me comment on my TV, in my TV. <laughs> oh my awesome. goodness. I would love to hear what you sound like on Surround Sound, Dion. You want, you're being sarcastic. No, no, I would yeah, never no, be sarcastic, you're, you're ever. You're always sarcastic. That is, that makes me, I, those are things that I don't really want to know. When someone says, I've got you on the big screen, I'm like, oh, no, 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 don't tell me that. All right, so I'm just kind of playing around with the background first. And that is not a masonite board. That is a regular canvas. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, it's a prepped canvas. It's ready to go. Uh, buy those from Michaels. Okay, we're just working on the background. We're going to put some fun color on there before we get started with our flowers, because you know I'm going to put flowers on them. I'm not smarter than a fifth grader in math either, Erin. You help that. I'm gonna come up. I'm gonna come up with an invention. Do it. This little deal that goes and then it goes and it pops off. Yeah, like electric thing that just beep and then you push the button and it twists the lid. Yeah, you because when you don't clean them. Well, people say is clay very hard. I'm like, open this can. It'll tell you how hard Fall the clay is the on your furniture. Fall down on the dirt, right? And break your arm. Literally, Elijah did that. He broke his wrist on clay dirt because it's hard. Karen Brown says headboard canvas. Hardboard canvas, not headboard. Hardboard. <laughs> uh, um, no, it's it's uh, it's just a regular canvas that I always paint on, all my paintings. Yes, it will make the sounds, Michelle. What will make it? Uh, she wants my thing to make the sounds. No, my my paint can opener. Oh. Or my, what what would you? It's a plastic. That's plastic, right? What? The bottles. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah these yeah, yeah, these yeah. are uh, these are not the aluminum one. This. this. Yeah, I'm kidding. Get it figured out, Woods. I'll do it. So he releases this video, you guys, on YouTube, where he puts it together and he shows y'all how to repair veneer, and. It, two days ago, he has 1.8 thousand for his little video that he did. He says surpassed all of the videos that I've done on this beautiful blue piece. You're welcome, America. So did you prep a white canvas black? I did, I did. Guys, I just put black paint on here before I went live earlier. Yes. Catherine, stop telling me that. Yeah, so he surpassed me with his little videos, and he says, I told you this was going to happen. Keep in mind, so, this was her idea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I said, you guys step it up, okay? His video was great. The one that he did two days ago, he did all by himself. I didn't have anything to do with it, He, he uh, other than getting it on my channel. But you guys were so good and have been so kind. So, so, so I'm, I'm always curious about feedback. So, was it informative? 
was it too long, too short, steps, processes, did that work, not work? Do I need, you know, a lot of positive feedback, uh, or just any feedback would be great. So, so you'll take negative feedback yes, too? Yes, I will definitely take negative feedback because that's how you get better. Or at least you take in consideration and figure out if it works. And Come help me please. You go from there. Well, I'm pulling triple duty tonight. You can be, you'll be fine. It's, 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 it's all right. Faded burlaps coming up next. Dion, I have been using ashes from my fireplace to make my own smoky paint with great results. Wow, Joe, it was very informative. It was a great length of time. It was excellent, Matt. Perfect timeline of the video and perfect instructions. Okay, good, good. Now, if you were to say one bad thing about it, what would you say? You didn't have enough of me in it. Lighting. Uh -huh, uh -huh. What? What? Lighting, ah! quality of sound. Can you open the faded? What's I'm the telling you, it, it's it's gl you glued it on. No, here. I did not glue the jar. Do you have another one that you can open? I don't have another faded burlap. Come here, just open this one. See if this one's easier. I really needed faded burlap. My hand. Y'all are awesome, though. Thank you for being so supportive of him. I appreciate it. it was all good, Matt. All right. Okay. Well, I appreciate you watching. Tell all your friends. <laughs> oh, I got it. Tell your friends what? I got it. Okay, thank you. What do you want them to tell them? To watch? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we are only finger painting tonight, guys. I needed a break after painting on furniture. I'm gonna get started with some flowers here in just a second. I like, this is Sandy Blonde. We couldn't get the faded burlap open, so this is Sandy Blonde. I can't keep up with the comments. Yeah? That's a good thing. Ooh, I like this together. Yes, Heidi, I will definitely have more posing in my, my videos. Oh my God, did you see the posing at said, the beginning? She, Heidi McClure says, definitely need more posing like in the first few seconds of her video, Matt. <laughs> what was that about? That was just a little taste. Yeah? A little taste, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle says there was no Dion. Well, I was in it. Was in it. I was in it for like, what, a minute? A minute, maybe. But honestly, I was working all day, so it wasn't like, I was not upset about it. I was just giving him a hard time. I Trust me. I was so proud of him for doing it himself. I really, really, really was. So proud. Okay, I'm going to try to open this. Oh, I did this one. Erin says she loves the posing. Josie said the posing was hysterical. Oh. We got run hot water over the lid. Hit it on the floor. Oh, not, I, not a lot of good. Uh, oh, yeah, I hit it on the floor. That's usually my go to. I'm just working on the background right now. I am trying to do a different look that I haven't done before. So I don't see anything wrong with her. It's it's inside my finger today. We shipped all the paintings that sold that were on the wall, and um, we got them all ready. And just I did something to my hand while we were working on the paintings, and it's not been working right today. So that's just that's just my story. I'm going to try to go take a hot bath after this and let it soak. It's an Epsom salt bath, and hopefully it'll feel better tomorrow. We got Rainbow joining us. Hi, Rainbow. Tanya Morrison, Cindy Burnell. She says, uh, "So when is so when is hashtag more Matt starting his own channel? I will probably not be starting my own channel. I don't want to break the internet just yet. So I'll just continue to." You know, 
cultivate my personality on this channel. And then go from there. Okay, long enough answer, Woods. <laughs> you just entertain yourself over there. He just talks. Yeah. He just keeps talking. <laughs> talking and nobody's listening. Talk, 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 <laughs> talk, talk. talk Isn't that the way of the world with men, though? They talk they and nobody's just, listening. They think everybody wants to hear what they're saying. Such great, such great things to say. Uh, Tracy Franz, she had a question. And yes. did Dion answer the question about why she sprays the canvas? She missed it. Oh, well, I spray the canvas with water uh, because I like it to be, I like it to go on really thin on my canvas. And so it's watered down, it's thinning out a little bit, and I like the way it encourages the colors to blend. So that's why I spray it down first. Dion, you got the matching lipstick. Yeah. Yep. You want some flowers? I'm always doing flowers, babe. I love can't, flowers. I can't imagine true. why anybody would ever want to paint anything other than flowers. Or not necessarily. That's not really true. But this is a apothecary, and I'm really liking it over. Cindy Brunel. Hi, Cindy Brunel. Uh, what colors have you put on the canvas so far? Okay. I started with black velvet. I did mermaid tail. Water Lily, Kissing Booth, and Sandy Blonde. And then this is Apothecary. Uh oh, don't use your hand. And I just felt like finger painting, you guys. <laughs> What's so funny? Susan on Facebook says, I see a cow. Laughing face, laughing face. It's been a day. <laughs> she sees a cow on your canvas. Please don't see stuff on my canvas again. <laughs> oh, Aww, thanks, Kelly. So the other night I was painting on this piece and someone saw a weird face. Someone saw a, a creepy face. Someone saw all kinds of different faces. So I tried to get the faded burlap open and then we couldn't. So I used Sandy Blonde instead. I'm gonna set all of these down as I open them. And... Heather Watson, faded burlap, question mark? Right, yes, I think that's why I was answering because I put, I couldn't get that open. You couldn't get it open, muscles. So oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you eventually did. But, but I did, yeah. Yeah, but you don't I give up. You gotta keep trying, right? I just no, I give up so I don't hurt myself. Okay, I need to read this. Real don't quick. say you see the cow too. <laughs> <laughs> I actually see it now. Oh my gosh. Uh, Mom H. So after long deliberation in front of the uh, the uh, dessert counter at my favorite cake store, I am proud to announce that I've selected chocolate for the flavor of my cupcake to celebrate. Our last live Saturday. Hey! That almost makes me sad. Our last one. They act like I'm never going to be on here. You guys, here's the thing. We're going to come on every Sunday and every Wednesday. Live. Live, for sure. Like, those are the days that we've decided to schedule. And then if I come on more than that, it'll just be what I need to do that day. But, like, it'll just be because I want to. But for sure, I'll be on Wednesdays and Sundays. I think more than anything, I love coming on here every day. There's just a few days and every Friday, of course. I will be on every Friday for on, on uh, Facebook, but I don't do YouTube then. Um, I just need the flexibility of I can change my mind if I don't want to because I am kind of tired. <laughs> it's it, it gets it's exhausting. It's a very doesn't... big commitment. You know what I want to do tomorrow, the last day or the next day? At 8.30, I just want to get my car and go. Because we've been here day after day at 8.30. We've been home. Yes. I've missed games. all the football games. I yeah. did. I missed all the things so I can make sure I was here. And so then I'm like, I'm just going to drive around at 8.30 because I can. <laughs> hello, Paint Drop. She says, hello, Dion. Hi. Hi. Hello, hello. I'm glad you're here. I appreciate you. I'm having the best time. You guys have made this whole journey 
of 100 Day Lake. You guys have made it. And actually... Oh, without a doubt. They've been the best. Oh, this has been fun. And you guys have helped get Matt on here. So I'm not alone like I, I was in the beginning. And um, I'm not in here talking to myself. And he's not in there bored missing me. So that helps. <laughs> right, Woods? Yes. Did you even listen? No. That's what I thought. I'm reading. Paint drops caught us live tonight. I'm so glad you caught us paint drops. All right, Bridget Sin, I've had a broken wrist and in a cast for seven weeks. Oh. And it's coming off tomorrow. I can finally get back to painting. Oh. Lots of hearts on that one. Hallelujah to you, Miss Cindy Palmer. Just get in the background on here right now, guys. Susan Norton says, bye, baby cow. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, baby cow. Whatever. I never saw it, so that's good. Y'all are hysterical. Deborah Allen, you've made it a very, you made it special every day, so thank y'all. Oh, thank you. Joe Brindley. I just needed to challenge myself to do something that was pushing myself so far into an uncomfortable zone, because you never know what's going to come out of it. You never know what's going to come from it. And um, I just, you know, I, I think it's very healthy, and it's what I coach. And I just, I kind of wanted to just do something that was hard, basically. And I'm going to come up with something else that's hard. And I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do the next thing that's hard. And I encourage you to, too. Uh, Joe Brindley, it is a big commitment for sure. You guys amaze me how you've managed to fill it all in. Fit it all in. Way to go. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Linda Dawkins says, oh, what are you painting? Lena, I am going to... Lena, gonna, I'm sorry, Lena. It's sorry. Lena. I am going to paint some flowers right now. I'm finger painting, and I um, started with a black background this time. And Matthew, would you mind getting me some bohemian blue? Some what? Some bohemian blue. Where would that be? I... I feel like it should be there, but I don't see it. Um, there's a bottle of it on the shelf uh, over to the left. There, that's Bohemian Blue. This? No, that's Mermaid Tail. You should know this. This? Yeah, is there any in there? Yep. Okay. Need your tray? Yes, please. Let's see if I can open this. I've nailed this assistant thing down pretty good. You knew I needed my tray. So smart. Hey guys, I got it. Thank you so much. So now I'm gonna grab aviary and I'm gonna work on the leaves a little bit. Now granted, this is just the background. It's black, so it's a lot darker than normal. Um, but I needed a break from doing that furniture piece before I start another one. So I thought we're gonna finger paint tonight. So I'm doing all the background and we'll bring in some more details. Um, had a question here. Where did it go? Okay, Karen Brown. Hi, what Karen. did you get from this commitment? I thought it was a good question. Yeah, so I... It's not so much more about what we get out of it. Is it it's more of a, uh, a challenge to... John always talks about pushing yourself and and setting goals and, and doing things. And I think this is part of what she does to show people that how, doesn't matter how hard it is or maybe inconvenient, if you set your mind to it, you can do it. You can set your mind to it, but gosh, it's like you guys, I don't want to just stand up here and be a coach to people and say, you really should go live. And have you gone live? And have you gone live? I want to be able to say, it makes a huge difference. You might not know who I was. You might not know my business. You might not know what I do. Um, if I hadn't have pushed live and gone and continued to show up, and I want you to see my commitment to my business, I want to have a successful business, and I feel like you've got to show up. That's the best thing that you can do for your business is to show up. 
you know it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be um it's sometimes not what anybody even wants to see but i don't want to disappoint myself and when i've set a commitment it's been uh for my business everything has grown all the numbers are up for my business all the views all the dollars all the interactions engagement every, it just it just helps and so um it's the it's free and it's marketing and i get to paint with you guys and i love that i love seeing your names i love seeing the interaction that you guys have with each other i love when people get on here and say i did this and i did that and i just am over here saying yes you did and i'm so proud of you um i wanted to make this little um i'm trying to find it i'm sorry i lost my spot this is uh russell road russell road more man is working his way up the paint can ladder he is he's he's figuring out his colors yeah, yeah and then joe brinley says i think your internship is over matt you are now promoted to full-time assistant what oh i make yes yes that's what i'm talking i make about. that decision Hey, I'm going to tell you what, what did I, what was the last thing I said before we came in here and started this thing? You said, this was your idea, honey. <laughs> oh, no. Before that, what did <laughs> I say when you, we set the computer down right in front of me? I said, we need to, come on. We need to. Uh, renegotiate my contract. He did. <laughs> You know what? I think I've. Uh, he says I think I know my worth now. I think we need to renegotiate my contract. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. I thought you were saying something enlightening or something, and then you were trying to get me to say. Oh my word, Woods! Right now, I'm just kind of making some petals. I gotta let all this dry so I can bring in some flowers. And we've got to bring in the bright colors now. We've got the, the muted, the warm, darker tones. Thank you, Tanya. Here we go. I'm Here all we about go. that. You're all about what? She said, pay that man double, Dion. Yeah, because his video, I looked at his video. I was like, your video's doing great. Oh, has this was at dinner. 1.8 thousand views. Mine from yesterday has 1,000. And it was funny because... And he couldn't stop laughing. No, she goes... He couldn't stop laughing. You said what? it's 1.8. That was it. That's all she said. And I was like, I looked at her and I went, thousand? Yeah, 1.8 thousand And I views. couldn't stop laughing. And I don't know why. I just thought it was the funniest you, thing. You couldn't. You were like oh, falling over <laughs> in the chair laughing because I was like, your videos have like doubled mine in the same amount of time. And you just could not stop laughing. That's rude, Woods. Love these darker background colors. Thank you, Rennie. So let me set this tray down, and now I need to start bringing in a little bit of color, though. So I had to get all this. Looks like Medusa. It's crazy. All of that. I get it. I get it. I get it. But you have to start layering in some colors. Ooh, and that lid was not tight, so I was able to get it. Yes, Mama H. That probably be one of my next ones. They, I've had several people would like to know how to make those simple, easy frames that I, that I make. So that's a pretty easy one, too. Unfortunately, you're going to have quite a few, quite a bit of tools to do those, but we'll, we can do that for sure. Well, and you have to have time, too. That's the other thing. It's time to make the video. That's another challenge. You know? And we argue over the computer because it's, I have a Mac, and I have the program loaded on the Mac, the Mac. So he has to wait on me to let him use the computer. <laughs> I think I want some of this yellow down here some more. Let's think of a fun name for this one. Um, I bet, I bet, I bet your peeps on here, they come up with some great names. I know they do. They, they do really well. With they them. are so creative. I don't want that to get mushy. Okay, Les Meyer. I don't know if I should read this, but I'm going to because I think it's funny. Oh, great. I see a baby monster with the arm stretched out. Well, well, well. <laughs> well, well, well. Oh, goodness. Mm. Isn't, that, isn't that what's so cool about art? People see so many different things in it. 
Isn't that neat? Yeah. It's I mean, neat. I think it is. I think it's pretty cool. Moo in the bushes, says Joe Brindley. <laughs> I'm sorry, Shazam. It's fine. There's no cow on it anymore. Okay. Uh, Mom A said she would like to know what you named the one with the lady at the braid. Um, the girl with the braid, I think this last one. Yeah, I just named her. Oh, Go Your Own Way. Her name is Go Your Own Way, and she um, is available right there. Go Your Own Way. Matthew, are they giving you any ideas for names? Um, Visions. That was from Tracy Tran. Um, Moody Blues, Evening Repose. An enigma? I like it, you guys. Y'all are good. Hannah Crumley says, I see a vase of flowers on a windowsill with a flower garden outside the window. Beautiful. Thank you for that, that Hannah. Vincent, Cherry Moon. Cherry Moon. Beautiful. Moonlight. Moonlight. Oh, two people put moonlight. That's so nice. Well, I'm letting this she, set up before. Renee said moonlight, and then respelled it. But moonlight, she got the N. Oh, okay. Brenda Osborne joined us. Says hello from Ohio. Hi from Ohio, I'm glad you're here. Eggplant Garden. Precious Time. Okay. From Rhonda. And Moonlight Serenade. Yep, they got some good ones. They do. They always do. That's why I asked. Have to see what people hear what people see. Evening Magic. Evening Magic. Dusk in the Garden. Come on, that one. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be bringing in more color, more light here in just a second, though. Moonlight Serenade. Is that a song? I don't know, but you should serenade me in the moonlight. That sounds really nice. I can sing. I can do that. Yeah. What song do you would you like for me to sing? Well, that would be for you to decide. It takes two to make a thing go right. Okay. You just sit over there and, and entertain yourself. <laughs> A little Ryan Reynolds action over there. It um, okay, okay you side. said it once. That's enough. <laughs> I just wait to do that. Oh the my most. God, you're such a dork. Oh, that's so funny. It is. Oh yeah, I'm just really laughing at Ryan. You're. That's the proposal from. From, uh, oh, it's one of the best scenes ever. I know, I know. It is funny. We have to watch that movie every time it comes on. I thought you were going to say something romantic. Should have known. <laughs> Somewhat romantic. Not really. It takes two to make things go right. Right? I mean, that's kind of... Yeah, that's romantic. <laughs> and then you sit over there and laugh at yourself. You've just been laughing at yourself all day. And most of it's at my expense. No. Oh. You would never laugh Ooh. at you. I laugh with you. Love that movie, too. I know. It's so good. A duet, maybe. Maybe. You can start it. No, I'll come in with that part. Okay. So, I feel like all this is getting dry. Thank goodness. I've been trying to get it dry. Uh-oh. Matthew, can you get me a new Hey Sailor? 
It's right over there on the shelf, the second one from the bottom. I'm it's sorry, what do you mean? A new hay sailor. This one's dried out. A new hay sailor. Mm -hmm. Tell me you know what color hay sailor is, Matt. It's blue. It's blue. Sharon Asher, I laugh with you. It's my husband's favorite saying. Don't laugh at you. I hope I got paint on you. You didn't. I ho I did, and I hope I'm glad no, I did. You did I'm not. so glad oh, I did. No. Alice just joined us, but she's just joined us, so she's missed a little bit. That's okay. Hi, Alice. You just missed Matt singing and laughing at my expense. No worries. Ah, uh, Sam, uh, Coyote Creation. The back reminds me, of a, uh, reminds me a little of the Northern Lights. So pretty. Thank you so much. Oh, that's a very nice. I appreciate it. I can you. see that, actually. I can see that. I got a long ways to go before I get it to where I want it, though. But thank you so much. orange and that blue right here together. I really like this right here. Yeah, it's quite the contrast. Tracy Tran, lots and lots of like laughing faces. The epic miscommunication. I thought you were gonna say something romantic. Same. I think every couple has had the same conversation. <laughs> Probably so. Yeah, I'm like, hey, could you maybe you could serenade me sometime? And he says, what would you like me to sing? And I say, you decide. And then it takes two. A little '90s hip hop. But you love that song. Yeah, I love Ryan Reynolds too. But that that was not what I was expecting. But it 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 was funny. It was funny. Jasmine just joined us. She has to work late, but she had to hop on and at least listen. I will not throw it away, Karen. I will add water to it, and then I will stir. Um, so it might look like a tree right now, you guys, but it's going to be completely covered up with flowers in the front of it. This is just there for the background. Robert Gloria says, tree of life. That's what I was just answering, honey. But it's, it, it may look like a tree like right now, but it's just the background of a bouquet. I have to get it on there and let it dry. Okay, now I need my mint chip, baby. Mint chip. Mint chip. All right, mint chip. Right there on that same shelf where the blue was. This one right here, I know this one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's not much in it, but I used it for the feathers on this piece right here yesterday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. And we've got some and so I use the mint chip to highlight the leaves and while this is drying we'll get ready to add some big white flowers anybody have any questions Ooh, Manny Driscoll says Monet's table. Oh, that's a good one. That's beautiful. I had a friend tell me today that there will be 41 Monet's paintings in the Boston Museum and through August. And she told me this because we've been talking about going to Boston to Fenway and watching a <laughs> ball game. So she's trying to get me there. Renee Rupert says a new game. Name this paint color, Matt. <laughs> Hi, Rennie. I would, I would absolutely kill that game. I would be. What do you mean, kill it? So bad at it. Oh. I know names, but colors probably not. So well, you should know. I can get you shipped, really close. You I shipped a really lot close. of paint. I know old school. That's what I know. It's that's because it's almost black. Uh, Susan Alford, how long? Have you been a painter, or how long have you been painting? I've been painting furniture for about eight, nine years, probably nine. Started my business 10 years ago, so nine years for furniture and canvas for probably five. 
And a Crumley, do you seal your paintings? If so, what do always, you use? Always seal them. Um, I use several different things. If it's something where I've used my oil pastels or my chalk, like my, my pencils, then I seal it with a spray acrylic outside. If it's all DIY paint, I will either wax it with clear wax or I will use our Big Top. It's my favorite product. If I use acrylics, all acrylics on a canvas, then I will usually seal it with a gloss varnish type product. So it just kind of depends on what I'm using, but I always seal them. Nina Ripley, have you ever painted on wicker? No. <laughs> just no? No, I okay. haven't. It's, it's hard, you know, I mean, it just, I get people asking me that and I, I don't, I haven't, I haven't ever tried. Uh, Joe Brinley, Dion, do you feel sad when you don't get to paint? Yes, I have to. Guys, it calms my chaos. All my, I have so many creative ideas and stuff I want to do, so I have to paint. And that's what I said, just, I love coaching so much. It's so rewarding. But I have to make sure I always find time to paint and find that balance. Always. Thank you, Les. You gave me a nice compliment. That was nice. It was very nice. Uh, Chris Butler's on. He said, big top, big top. Big top for a sealant. That's right. He knows what's up. Mm -hmm. hey, did, he, did you just get on here, Chris? I think so. I bet he missed my singing. I, I'm, that's so sad that he He'll have to watch the replay. He missed your singing. Yeah, I think he would probably be, be, be impressed. With your voice or your uh, song choice? Yes. Both. Yes. Both. Good night, Karen. Good night, Karen. Karen Brown. Matt, was it Karen Brown? Yes. Okay, good night, Karen. Uh, Martha Lennox, uh, do you use a certain sink in your house to dump out brush water? <laughs> I pour my brush water on my drop cloths in the, in the winter right now. In the summer, I go outside and pour it in the grass. Uh, Susan White, what is the ratio for water to paint in the spray bottle? Oh, usually about 10 ounces of water to two. So two, two to 10. Uh, Chris is painting. Okay, so yeah, he just got on, but he was painting, he was working. I got one of his really nice pieces, which was awesome. Yeah, you do. It's really, really cool. He did a great job. He says, I'm all about the hashtag more Matt. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Got to, we got to hang together. Well, I asked him. Well, I don't even remember. I said, what song would you sing to me? Like a romantic song. And he started singing It Takes Two, which is the song from The Proposal, where Ryan Reynolds makes it was like, Sandra. What was it? DJ Rob? Rob Bass? Rob, DJ Rob Bass. Yeah, and Easy something. Easy E or something, yeah. I don't know. It was really good. The movie was good. <laughs> uh, I am just having really a good time with, with this. I don't know what y'all are seeing. Now, I'm ignoring this right now because I'm building up my layers and getting ready to put some more flowers on there, but I am loving this background. You know I'm going to have to put some GT Golden Ticket on it. What time is it? Have I gone really long? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It is almost 9.30. Okay, so we came um, on at like 8.40. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Robin Harrison has a question. Okay. How much prep hours go in each day's life? If you're on for half to one hour, how much time in prep and after does it consume? Wow, that's a great question. It is a great question. It consumes at least 30 minutes after and at least 30 minutes before. I have to plan, um, but we do have to always make sure I have something ready to paint, a piece of furniture. I kind of have to spend time figuring out what I want to do. Um, so if I'm on for an hour, you can guarantee I 
between prep and afterwards and creating my thumbnail and creating my links and everything, I'm definitely spending another hour. So for every hour is another hour, I would say. Do you think that's fair, Matthew? Yeah, and, and a lot of it depends on because you have to, a lot of times you go back and respond to people. So it just kind of depends on how many... Oh yeah, how many how comments, many comments and, and DMs and and things that you want to try to answer questions. So a lot of it just depends. But I do try to get back with people. Like uh, these lives have been challenging because after there's a wind down time, answering questions, thumbnails, posting comments, hashtags, figs, tea, <laughs> but making sure the kids are. We're doing what they're supposed to do, and then get in bed. I don't know what time, because I'm usually asleep. By well, this, it so. just gets later and later all the time because of just still stuff I need to do. But yeah, yeah, there's. It's definitely more than just showing up here and pushing live. You're, you're. It's a great question, Robin. Any wine involved? Catherine Hughes would like to know. No, not not really a wine drinker. No wine. And Susan Chilberg, where are we at in the days of the countdown? Saturday is our last... Saturday is our last day, Susie. Well, our last consecutive... Right, 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 right. I'm going to take a break on Sunday. Apparently, it's the Super Bowl, and even though I don't care anything about it, I'll be watching it, or at least sitting there with the phone in my hand. But I won't be on live Sunday. But we'll start it back up right away. We're going to go live every Wednesday. Tina Massey's on. She says hi from Grimsey. Grimsby, Ontario. Hi. Haven't seen you live forever. Oh, well, I've been here every day, so I'm glad you're here. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, so tonight you're doing just a lot of the base and the background doing a lot before of the you background. start with flowers, yeah. right? Yeah, the, the layers have to kind of dry up before I start with my white because they're going to really blend in with my white if, if my paint's real wet. But I'll, I'm going to definitely have to finish it up tomorrow, or at least work on it tomorrow. But I just kind of want like this background that's kind of foggy and blended and just have some really beautiful tones to it. And I'm loving it. Marilyn Scroggins just joined. Hi, Mama. Or maybe she just commented. Hi, Marilyn. Thanks for thanks for that. I like it when she calls me sweetie. She's not calling you sweetie. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, Chris Butler, the background is unreal. Can't stop looking at it. I'm hoping it's keeping your eyes moving all over. So I'm just kind of keep adding another color here and there to keep the keep the flow going with your eye kind of like fading in and out is kind of what I'm after. Did mom comment back to you when you said thanks for calling you sweetie? No, she hasn't. <laughs> what is the object in the bottom left hand corner? Chris Butler would like to know. Over here? He said, bottom left hand corner. Whose left hand? Help me out, Matt. Which, uh, I don't know. know. Like the leaf? Is it the leaf falling? Like, I'm not sure. Oh, it uh, probably was. Yes, he said yes. Yeah, this is just the leaf over here falling. And then this is just going to, supposed to give the image of uh, like a field of flowers, a field of fuchsia flowers and orange. Uh, Robin Harrison says, a French cafe in the background, out of focus. There you go. Definitely love the out of focus. Now, this whole flower thing might just get blended here in a minute, but I started it from the beginning, and I'm trying to work around it, and it's not really working for me, so I may just get rid of it, but I'm going to leave it there a little longer. Oh, I like that color. Mix pink with sandy blonde. That's a really pretty color. 
Uh, Christy Page, what type of flowers are you painting this time? I don't know I yet. love peonies. Oh, thank you. Um, I love them too. I don't know yet, to be honest with you. I'm planning on doing white as the main color. There's going to be light blue, white, and probably some yellow or orange. What do you guys think? Catherine Miles, all caps. It's amazing how quick you make it come together. Well, I still like I'm not even close to coming together, so I appreciate that, Catherine. I feel like I've still got a long ways to go, but that's because I haven't pulled the flowers together yet. So I appreciate that. I'm having a really good time, though, and that's this is what I need to be doing. We've had a wonderful day. It was very, we got so much done. Like I said, Matt took off today to help me package all those paintings. We got them all to UPS. We, we shipped off another nine purses this morning. So we just had a really um, busy day, but we got a lot done. Finished up that piece. And it makes me happy to just be here in the evening, just finishing off my day painting with you guys. Do you find when you paint in the evening, like what you're doing now, going live, doing different mm -hmm. things, mm -hmm. it relaxes you from a stressful day? Yes, definitely. It's very relaxing, especially this one. I can literally feel the paint on my fingers. It's just, I love it. But today wasn't stressful. Today was really, really great. It wasn't stressful. Um, like I said, we got so much done and I had you here to help me. And so it made me very happy to get things done. What is it about the finger painting that you love? Um, that I can blend color. Is it the texture, the feel of it, or? Yeah, and I don't know if I would feel this way about every paint, or if it's just that it's DIY or what, but I love the way it blends together, and then all of a sudden it starts to dry, and it changes colors, and I I don't know, I love it. You should try it, Matt. Is that what we're doing? Are we gonna finger paint? No, 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 we'll, we can use brushes. We use brushes? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Fine. We're leaving off here with it looking kind of funky, kind of crazy. Um, how'd it go today, Retro Vintage Lucero? I had said a little prayer for you today. Um, we're going to leave it right here so I can get it all set up. What you cannot see probably is the bowl, and I'm not sure that you can see all of that from my angle, but... I'm really happy with how it's going right now. I just want you to know. Um, thank you, Alice. That's so something so sweet to say to me. I appreciate that. And uh, so what we have to do is we're using this as our as our base. And as you can see, the lighter area that where the sandy blonde is is just supposed to create almost like a cloud like. Heather Watson, I see your heart, sister, and I love you for those hearts. And um I'm gonna be building in with some white flowers and we'll highlight it with a little bit of blue and I think we'll build in some yellow, which is why I kind of pulled that yellow back there. I almost want this vase to look like it's glowing. So we're not anywhere near being finished, but I want you to know that this was all with hands, no brushes, and so if you ever get to a point Mama H had a question. Mama H, okay. Yep, she said, did your trip to France impact your creative ideas for painting? You know what? I didn't realize, I was hoping it would. I didn't realize that it did until I came home and painted. I remember thinking on the airplane, I can't wait to get home and paint because I had gone nine days without painting. But I didn't realize necessarily that I might feel more empowered by doing the things that were terrifying to me. So when you do that in other aspects of your life, in my opinion, you do things that are courageous, you do things that you're terrified to do, then you come home and I just use that same attitude with my art. I don't know if I learned anything while I was there. Monet's garden was just the most beautiful thing ever and all that makes me wanna do is plant seeds all over our backyard and have a wild garden. But I can tell you right now that doing that 
whole thing of going, knowing that I didn't want to go the week before. I don't want to go. I'm scared. I, I don't want to go. Um, and doing it and pushing through. I think that that attitude is what helped me push through in my art. So I don't know um, necessarily if the things that I saw motivated me. I'll never really know, right? Like I really never, I'll never know. But I'm going to continue to put myself in positions just like doing these lives, just like making myself vulnerable in front of you all, finger painting and doing the best I can. And I live, I live. It's not hurting me. I'm, it's fine. And I do it because I love the process. I do it because I love to, hopefully, if there's one of you that decides to be inspired and it, you, you, you pick up a brush or you use your fingers, it's worth it. I'm good. Um, if it, I think I'm going to go wash my hands. I'm going to start working. Birdie, I see you, girl. I was wondering about you this morning. I see you. Um, I just want you all to know that I appreciate you hanging out with me. I'm going to have to come back tomorrow, and I'm going to work on this some more. So I hope that you can join me around 830, and we will keep working and get closer to our 100-day live on Saturday night. So all of you, have a wonderful night. Gavin, you are so welcome, buddy. See you guys. See ya. See ya.